Julie, you know, when I first started to do the weather here on the TV station, I used to use magnetic things. There's a cloud. <laughs> there's, there's a sun. If we wanted um, warm air advection, there's the yellow that. one. And if we wanted cold air advection, there's <laughs> the blue one. And that's what I used to use to put the forecast together. And tonight has just been a wonderful night for me. And uh, particularly as I look over to see all of my friends from the uh, Fanshawe Symphonic Chorus and the Gerald Fagan Singers. And Gerald Fagan is here tonight and Marlene. And this is turning out to be just a wonderful night. So Julie, how does the first seven days of my retirement look? Why don't you do that? <laughs> okay, thanks Jay, looking good. It's definitely a fine forecast for that. We have some sunshine to talk about heading into the weekend. Lots of sunshine and some nice warm temperatures. Finally, we'll warm up back to where we should be for this time of year after some cool days. We still have a couple days of cool weather to get through first in one of the coldest nights so far this season. As we head coast to coast in through the interior of British Columbia, there is a heavy rainfall warning. Other than that, some milder air today in through Alberta. And then as we head in through northwestern Ontario, five degrees in Thunder Bay. Seven in through the Sioux, eastern Ontario picking up some sunshine with high pressure trying to build its way in and in through Atlantic Canada, well, an east coast storm will be bringing rainfall, already has in through Halifax and more rain on the way over the weekend. That will impact our forecast, but only slightly. What we're expecting from that east coast system will be a trough of low pressure and that will rotate back through the Great Lakes. What that will mean is a little bit more in the way of cloud cover, but a sprawling ridge of high pressure will be building into the Great Lakes and that will be bringing us some sunshine. And eventually, as that high drifts eastward, we'll pick up a southerly flow, and that will result in those temperatures starting to rise and get back to where they should be. It has been bitterly cold across the Great Lakes. Okay, let's take a look at this radar. You can see that flow up the coast, just a series of systems moving through. The Great Lakes, all of the activity should quiet down over the weekend. We'll be back to some sunshine. Temperature-wise, a high of 7 degrees in London tomorrow, but overnight tomorrow night will take a low all the way down to minus 2. It will be cold right across southern Ontario overnight tonight. Frosty conditions. Sunday into Monday, beautiful sunny skies, 10 to 13 degrees. 14 degrees on Tuesday. Wednesday, 15. Now that's where we should be for this time of year. Showers Thursday into Friday. Probability low right now, just a 40 and then upwards of a 60% chance heading into Friday. In Midwestern Ontario, looks like a great weekend right across the area. This will be one of those weekends where you can get outside and do some of that yard work. Six degrees Saturday though, that's cool. Nine degrees on Sunday, sunshine, overnight lows though, minus two to minus one. We'll bump that up on Monday night. So Tuesday we'll take the high to 12 degrees, 12 on Wednesday, increasing amounts of cloud cover, and then the risk for showers rolling through Thursday into Friday, each day a high of 12 degrees. So Dan, I have some big shoes to fill. I don't think I can fill those shoes, but I'm going to do the best job that I can. Jay's such an awesome guy, and I'm gonna head back down to the party. Excellent, as well you should. Thank you so much, Julie and Jay, because we always used to meet each other in the hallway. He knew that I was a former Navy guy, and we always used to do this. So you know what? Bravo, Zulu. Well done, Jay. Well, a Juno-nominated pianist opens the fall season for Orchestra London this weekend with one of the toughest pieces in the classical repertoire.